Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to create this Elementor profile card with flip animation after hovering for Elementor using a free Elementor add-on. Amazing thing is that this Elementor card design will work with both free and paid versions of the Elementor without any issue, as well as it is also highly responsive. Furthermore this Elementor card widget is a reusable widget, which means that you can add and customize the same card widget in more than one section with different colors and settings. Now without any further ado, let's get started. To create the same Elementor card design shown during the video intro, you will be required to install two plugins, the first one is Unlimited Elements, and the second one is Elementor. To install the required plugins, first, go to the WordPress dashboard, then hover over the Plugins tab, and then click on Add New. Now just type Unlimited Elements in the Plugin search field. Here you will get a small plugin with the same name by Unlimited Elements. Just install and activate this plugin. Similarly, install and activate the Elementor plugin too. To create the Elementor profile card widget, just scroll down to the bottom side of the WordPress dashboard, then hover over the Unlimited Elements tab, and then click on the widgets option. Now here by default, you will get dozens of free and pro widgets. You can install any widget as you like, but for now, we will be creating a new Elementor card widget from scratch using the widget creator feature of this plugin. Now let's first create a new category for our widget. To do so, just click on this plus button, then type the category name, and then click on this button. To add a new profile card widget, just navigate to the newly created category, then click on the add widget button. Now here, just type the widget title, name, description, and then click on this button. Here you can see, our newly created widget has appeared. But currently, this card widget is not a functional widget because we have not added any code to this widget. In order to create the same type of Elementor card widget as shown in the video introduction, we will be requiring a code block of HTML as well as a few blocks of custom CSS. By the way, if you don't know anything about HTML and CSS, then don't worry, you can download the required code after scanning this QR code or after directly visiting the link shown here and then follow along with me. Now to edit the widget, just click on these three dots, and then click on the Edit in New tab option. Now here in the General tab, you can edit the widget title, name, description, icon, etc. Let me set an icon for our widget. To set an icon, just click on this button. Then search and insert a relevant icon for your widget. Now switch to the HTML tab, then delete the default text from this field, and then paste copied Elementor card widget HTML code from the downloaded file. Now switch to the CSS tab, and then paste the copied Elementor card widget CSS from the widget CSS file. Now switch to the J slash CSS includes tab, and then paste the Font Awesome Library CDN link because we have used Font Awesome icon inside our widget. Now we have pretty much done with everything except the setting creation part. In order to create dynamic setting options, we need to create an attribute for every single setting option. The attributes will make our widget flexible towards customization, in another word, you will get the settings to change the text, color, image etc. in the Elementor card widget. To create the required attribute, just switch to the Attributes tab. Now here, let's first create the different setting sections for our Elementor card widget. Here by default, you will get a section with the name of General. Now let's add a few new setting sections in our card widget. To do so, just click on this plus button, then give the name and then click on this button. Now let's create the actual attribute to understand the process of attribute creation. To do so, just select the setting section, then click on this button. 
Now here, just select the attribute type from this dropdown. For now, let's select the box shadow because we are going to create a dynamic setting for our card's box shadow property. After that type the attribute title, name, and then paste the CSS selector such as class. Now here if you are not understanding this attribute creation part, then don't worry, just do the exact same way as I'm doing. By the way, if you want to understand the detailed know-how of the Unlimited Elements plugin, then you can always refer to the publisher's YouTube videos. Now, in order to get settings working, you need to add the attribute code of your created attribute into your widget code. In fact, let me show how you can add the attribute code into your widget code. To do so, let me first switch to the HTML tab. Once you will create an attribute, then the attribute code of the same attribute will appear here automatically. To add the attribute code, you just need to select the section of the code, then click on the relevant attribute code here on the right side. Now here, I have already added all the required attribute code into my HTML code, so I don't require to add them again, I just need to create attributes with exactly the same values. I have given all the exact same code to you via download link, so you also don't need to add any attribute code into your HTML or CSS code as I have already added all the required attribute code. Now here, one thing you need to ensure that keep all the attributes spelling exactly the same as mine, otherwise, your settings will not work. To help you out here, I have created a PDF file for the attribute input values, make sure to copy and paste the exact same value in the relevant field from the PDF file. Now, let me create all the remaining attributes for our widget settings. But before that if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Now to create the attributes, again switch to the attributes tab. And then create the exact same attributes with exact same values as mine. Here I'm just fast forwarding the video so that you will not get bored.
Now we have created all the required attributes for Elementor Profile Card Widget settings. One thing still remains to create, that is the default profile image for our Elementor Profile Card Widget. We need to add this default profile image so that whenever you will add this widget onto your editing page, then the inserted widget will have a default profile picture. To do so, first of all, switch to the Item Assets tab, then create a folder for your widget after clicking on this button. Now, open the same created folder, then click on this button to assign this folder to your widget. After that, upload a default profile image into this folder. Now to set this image as a default image for your widget, just switch to the Attribute tab. To set a default image, select the Settings section, and just click on the Add Attribute button. Then select the Image Media option from the Attribute type, and then give a title and name. Now here, make sure to select the Image option from this drop-down, then click on this plus button. Now here, click on the default image, and then click on this button. In the end, just click on the Update Attribute button, and then click this button to update the changes. Now we have finished our widget creation, let me test if our profile card widget is working or not. But before that, if you are with me until now then I have a gift for you. You don't need to do anything manually to create this widget, you just need to download the widget file from this link. Then install the Elementor and Unlimited Elements plugins. Now go to the widgets option of the unlimited elements, then import the widget from this, and then enjoy your saved time. Now, let me add our newly created profile card widget to our website's home page. Here if you can see, I have already added a three column layout in a section in a single column structure. Let's search and drop our profile card widget into all of the inner section columns. Now let me check if our customization settings and editable fields working or not. To change the social button icon, just delete the default fontawesome icon unicode, and left the backslash as is it. Then go to fontawesome.com, then search the icon whatever you like, and then copy the unicode only. Now here make sure to use free icons, otherwise, your icon will not work. Now go back to the Elementor widget editor page, then paste the copied unicode just after the backslash. Now here you can see, our default icon is changed. Similarly, you can change the remaining icons too. Now here you can see, our profile card widget is working perfectly. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates, and make sure to check out the end screen video. Guys, how about our video pace, is it slow or fast, or else good? Let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.